Good morning friends. In today's video, we are going to see the design of expansion tank. It is one of the important items in chilled water system located in the chilled water pump room or energy transfer station. Expansion tank is used for multiple reasons. One of the important point is in chilled water system we have temperature fluxation and thermal expansion. To overcome these issues in a closed loop system, we use expansion tank. When we design the expansion tank, we need to add few values carefully or it will be over design or undersizing of expansion tank. Let's discuss about each requirements one by one. And uh, here the formula for the expansion des tank design I have taken from ASHRAE application handbook. So for example, if you see here ASHRAE application handbook, you can find the same formula. So this formula I am going to use for the design of expansion tank. So here the first uh, thing is like a volume of water in the system. So in order to find out the volume of water in the system, for example, you consider you have a closed loop system like this. You have to consider the complete pipelines uh, from chiller to the last FCU, the complete pipeline, supply pipeline and return pipeline. So the full pipeline length you have to consider. Secondly, volume uh, means you have to consider the, all the equipment like uh, for example, if you are using chiller, chiller to AHU and FCU, different combinations like this. So you have to consider number of chillers, number of FCU. Uh, you are using for the throughout the project so for example here so for this project i have used for just for example i have used three pipe size 50 mm 75 mm and 110 mm pipe size and use uh, each pipe size with the different different length 8500 4000 to 2500 feet i have used for the uh, pipelines so uh, we need to find out what is the gallon per feet for example so here you can see for different pipe sizes the gallon per feet the volume is given for example one feet pipe length how much amount of uh, gallon of water will be stored like that so in our case uh, the first we will see 2 inch we have so 2 inch it is 0 0.163 gallon per feet so the same value I will add here also 0 0.163 gallon per feet and second is the 75 and 110 mm pipe size so for the 75 mm you can see here 75 is equal to 3 inch and also 100 mm is equal to 4 inch so 0 0.367 and 0 0.653 so the both value i will apply here okay so now you have to multiply this is for one feet gallon for one feet in our project total 8500 feet we have for two inch pipeline so i'm going to multiply the same ans the answer and finally you will get the total gallons total gallons of the pipelines this is not for the fittings uh, sorry, not for the equipment this is only for the pipelines so uh, over this value we have to consider uh, minimum five percentage additional as a safety factor because when we go for the site execution uh, exactly whatever we showed in the soft drying we cannot execute because of the site classes will be there with other utilities so surely we will make some up and down in the pipeline so there is a chance that the pipeline uh, length will be increased so minimum 5 percentage you will consider i am always considering as a 5 percent that is okay so the 5 percentage with the additional uh, you will get the 4710 gallon so in addition to that uh, as i told you we have to consider the equipments equipments water level so for example you consider that we have a project there i used chiller uh, 2 number ahu 10 number and fcu 700 numbers so for the chiller you can see one uh, selection seat, uh, 230 ton air cooled screw chiller with uh, York brand, which is one of the famous one. So here, if you go here, fluid volume, which is given 269 liter. Okay, so this is for the chiller. Similarly, for the AHU and FCU, you can uh, get the value from the technical data set. But openly saying that for the chiller, okay, I ended the same value, 269, and total there are two chillers, so it is 538. And uh, AHU also you can get from the technical data set. It will be very less amount of uh, water will be there based on the surface face area for, for example in our project we have 10 ahu so uh, based on the technical data set i consider like 50 liter so it is total 500 liter so coming to the fcu there are 700 fcus are there i consider for example 5 liter but uh, mostly fcu 2 liter 3 liter uh, like uh, even 1 liter also there for the small uh, small fcu so here i consider 5, uh, 5 liter so that is a total which makes 153 uh, 4538 liter if you convert to gallon it is 1198 gallons and uh, addition to this one again same like pipe, pipe sizes i have considered five percentage extra for the equipment also
So here total 5969 which comes from the by comes from by adding this uh, pipes and also the equipment total volume and coming to the lower temperature and higher temperature if you go to this uh, chilled water system here like for, for example uh, this uh, this temperature is 5.5 and the temperature which comes from the uh, building load it is 11.5 just for example I am telling so the 5.5 temperature is the minimum temperature which will be circulated throughout the system so this minimum temperature value we have to consider in the in this column like 5.5 degrees Celsius I converted the equal and uh, in Fahrenheit and that is the minimum temperature of the system coming to the higher temperature this is where we most of the engineers make the mistake here actually uh, for example uh, I uh, because I am in Dubai I designed a project for the Dubai so if you go to Dubai green building regulation so this is the Dubai green building regulation so if you go to this one uh, you can see here the temperature value uh, dry bulb temperature so this is 46 degree so the important condition is this is for the air this is for the drivable temperature for the air so most of the time the engineers are considering the air temperature to the chilled water maximum temperature which i have seen in some report so practically saying the temperature of the air this is the maximum temperature in dubai we need to consider 46 for the design have uh, like a cooling load calculation air temperature is not equal to water temperature so uh, that uh, the here they are mentioning higher temperature means the higher temperature we need to consider when the pump is off when the chilled water pump is off that time what is the te temperature we can experience in the chilled water closed loop system so we cannot consider the same 46 degrees celsius uh, uh, air temperature as a uh, water temperature maximum temperature during the pump off condition so now practically saying uh, the temperature inside that one it will be like uh, 5 degree lower than uh, we can consider 5 degree lower than the air temperature if outside it is 46 mean uh, inside you can consider 41 degrees celsius so that is the safe side we normally consider the country temperature i mean the what the air temperature uh, minus uh, 3 to 4 degree celsius okay so i used to i am used to consider like a 3 degree lower than the air temperature if the country uh, if the dubai temperature regulation says like a 46 means we can consider 43 degrees celsius so that is the maximum temperature we can consider for the chilled water design and coming next one is the uh, pressure value minimum and maximum pressure similar to temperature we have to consider like first atmospheric pressure that is the pa so atmospheric pressure normally 1.01325 bar that is atmospheric pressure constant value which is equal to 14.7 psi and minimum pressure at a tank so this is again uh, a area where most of the people make the mistake so the minimum pressure if you say practically uh, some people like to consider 1.5 bar for all the application expansion tank but practically saying that is not the correct one for example here just consider one uh, high rise building with the different floors so we, uh, we have two cases let's assume two cases first case uh, we, we have the expansion tank located in the ground floor we have the chilled water pump room in the ground floor second case we have the expansion tank located in the roof because the air cool chillers are there so the pump room is located in the roof so let's come to the first case so here the concept is for example the minimum pressure means uh, when the system is not running what is the minimum pressure existing uh, at uh, expansion tank or the uh, means uh, throughout the system so what happen uh, if the tank is located in the ground floor so for example the pipe is running like this the pipe is running like this we have to consider the vertical static head that is called as a minimum ex minimum uh, system pressure so for example here mean this is the vertical static head so this height is the minimum uh, system pressure means a minimum uh, pressure we have to consider and uh, uh, which is acting on the expansion tank secondly if the uh, expansion tank is located at the roof so how this static head we will consider uh, same like this one so this case it is not required to consider in this point of view so as i told you if it is located in the bottom so this vertical height which is acting from here to here so this height for example say it is uh, 40 meter so normally how we are considering one bar is equal to 1 bar is equal to 10 meter uh, head so 40 meter means 4 bar that is the minimum static pressure we have to consider so based on the location of the expansion tank this minimum static pressure value will change so as you see in uh, other place like uh, uh, 1.5 bar constant pressure or 2.5 bar constant pressure the safe side that is not the correct way to consider the minimum static pressure for the expansion tank so here in our case uh, we have for example 44 meter head uh, building is there the expansion tank is located in the ground floor so because of the 44 meter head as i told you one bar is equal to 10 meter head so i'm going to consider 4.4 bar that is the minimum uh, pressure head value i'm going to consider so 4.4 bar means one bar is equal to 14.5 uh, psi so 14 uh, 4.4 means 4.4 into 14.5 
so total 63.8 i consider 64 psi so the p1 the absolute pressure at a lower temperature is equal to the pressure value what we got plus atmospheric pressure so 79 is equal to 64 plus 14.7 that is called as a p1 and coming to the maximum uh, pressure in the system so for example we have done the pump head calculation from the pump head calculation i got 6.9 pressure including the safety with the safety factor i got the final pump selection that is 6.9 bar for the uh, project so 6.9 bar is equal to 100.05 i multiplied with the 14.5 constant value to convert bar to psi so in addition to this value what we value what value we get from the pump head we have to consider some additional correction factor that is called minimum 10 psi we will consider as a correction factor for the uh, uh, pressure so for example 10.05 is the actual value plus 10 so total 110.05 uh, we have to consider for the maximum pressure so some people consider one percentage uh, over this uh, pump head as a safe uh, safe side. So normally 10 psi over the pump head is also acceptable. That is okay. So coming so coming to the P2, the maximum uh, pressure, absolute pressure. You need to add the uh, atmospheric pressure plus the maximum pressure, which is coming from here, which is coming from here. Okay. So now we have, we got the pressure and we got the temperature. So next one is the specific volume, specific volume of water at a lower temperature and a higher higher temperature. So at a lower temperature in our case it is. Uh, 5.5 degree which is equal to 41.9 degree fahrenheit so if you go to this table you can see the specific uh, volume value and uh, the important thing here is we have to consider the uh, we have to verify the unit which is feed cube per pounds so in our case uh, we, our answer is between these two so we have to go with the higher one that is equal to 0 0.01602 so that is for the uh, first one and coming to the second temperature if you see here the at the higher temperature so that is 109.4 so you can select the nearest value 109.4 so if you see here it is 110 is there so the nearest value is 0 uh, the value is 0 0.01617 so i'll apply both the answer here specific volume to 1 and specific volume 2 is very important to see the unit here feed cube per pounds and going down the th linear the uh, coefficient of thermal expansion so normally if you see the uh, chilled water system above ground we are mostly using two uh, carbon steel material for the above ground that is ahtm a53 uh, grade grade b schedule 40 schedule 40 otherwise we will use the ahtm a106 grade b schedule 40 sometime it is acceptable to use api 5l uh, grade b also but mostly we will uh, grade api file grade b is bit expensive mostly we can see the same carbon steel material this all are carbon steel only so mostly we can see api file in the island gas application for the chilled water system uh, we will go with the uh, low expensive material that is ahtma 53 okay so this carbon steel uh, if you see in this table so different materials are given aluminium car carbon steel cast iron like that so for the ca carbon steel it is 6.5 10 to the power of minus 6 okay so that is important 10 to the power of minus 6 is the unit here so if you see this one what i have done is 0 0.65 uh, 10 to the power minus 10 to the power uh, of minus 6 here okay so 10 to the power minus 6 so that the same one i'm going to apply here so equal to 6.5 divided by 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 so total it is the same value what i have entered here the same value you will get from the thermal expansion for the steel now you can apply all the value one by one so we have the, we can apply the formula here volume of expansion tank is equal to volume of water in the system vs vs uh, into v2 by v1 that is uh, you know that uh, v2 by v1 you got the specific volume minus 3 is the constant value into alpha alpha is the thermal expansion delta t is the temperature different delta t is the temperature different divided by 1 minus p1 by p2 that is the two uh, different temperature we got from the this answer so if you apply all this one uh, you can get the you can get the correct answer in gallon and you need to convert this one to liter so multiplying 3.785 it will be the liter and now you need to select the uh, nearest ex uh, expansion tank uh, so for example this is one uh, technical data sheet of your expansion tank company so if you go down you can see uh, so they have given different uh, sizes of expansion tank starting from uh, 500 liter so our answer near to this one so i'm going to select this uh, 500 liter expansion tank for my application well selection you have to give very important consideration for two points uh, that is uh, i'll explain you here so the first point we have to focus on here is 
the flange connection because the expansion tank the pipeline we are connecting uh, both have the flanged connection so the flanged connection uh, uh, there are two type one is a asme v16.5 that is american standard coming to the british standard you can see it is uh, like uh, the flange face will be like uh, bscn10922 so the important difference between these two is the uh, pcd we will say the pcd or uh, pitch uh, this one you can see here this one to this one so this distance is called as a pcd so this distance is not uh, not really not same for the american standard and the british standard so if you bring one expansion tank from europe if they follow the british standard and you are you have the pipe with the uh, american standard flange connection so you have to be careful with uh, this matting flanges and second thing is the working pressure so working pressure of the system uh, we have to consider so that must be satisfied so this two is a important thing when you select for the expansion tank additionally your project specification will say some additional points like the, what is the material uh, what is the sand blasting type and different arrangements are there so these are the way uh, we are normally selecting the expansion tank thank you for watching the video